Hi, I'm Ann Ritzen. I'm president of MyVol here on Mercer Island, and we're in the MyVol Gallery to celebrate our 12th annual Treasures in Miniature, a small format show. And this year we are pleased to have Barbara Noonan. She is a full-time professional artist. She's currently living on Camino Island, but you might have seen her in Seattle in Pioneer Square um, over the past years. She's had a gallery there. Uh, she's a member of the Women Painters of Washington. She represents her work in galleries in Washington State as well as Florida. She's a signature member of two pastel societies, and we are so happy to welcome her to our gallery as our judge this year for this show. Thank you for having me. It's exciting to be here, and I've always enjoyed my Bow Gallery and all of the artists that it attracts. Let's take a look at some of the artwork. Okay. First of all, it's a great space. I'd like to congratulate all the artists that submitted work into the exhibit. It is a very large show. I know it takes a lot of time, effort to photograph your work, to paint it, to, um, if it's not painting, to create it, and then to submit an application and take the time to go through that process. And I was not disappointed. In fact, the selection was very hard. But what I found myself navigating towards initially was this fine detail on Beverly Frothingham's work. And I apologize if I didn't get your name pronunciation correct, but this particular piece called Cat's Roll 36 is magnificent. The detail, the precision, and the framing, all of it is masterful. I hope nobody misses this when they come into the show. It's a beauty. I want to award second prize. Um, this is a piece by Matthew Lazur. It is a magnificent uh, piece of work with detailed um, glass, broken glass and ink, and it is swimmers. And I, um, to me, it reminds me of Thomas Eakin's work of um, the male swimmers, and that may not have been his initial reference, but the handmade paper behind it is delightful. It brings out the warmth in the tones of the uh, subjects in it, and I just love it. And for that, you definitely deserve second place, Matthew. Thank you. Um, for third prize, it's ironic in all this corner, Anne Kimball's work, Reflection, is done in thread. This is a stitched portrait. I had to take out my camera and use a magnifying glass and also a um, light on it to see every choice of thread in the variegation and how beautiful it is. When you come into the gallery, one of the first things that caught my eye was this piece by Anne. And what I really appreciate is, is the variegation of color, the harmony. There are three that I looked at, but this particular one was the, the palette was exceptional. There were large swaths of color that just made it wonderful and it is painted cut paper. And for this, she received an honorable mention, as it was well due. Um, also, when you think of miniatures, you think of small pieces and all of the works fit of an appropriate size. I hope you take a look at Thea Mercer's piece. This has received an honorable mention. It's ink and watercolor on wooden panel. But what I think is most masterful is, is the delicate um, uh, textures that she created with the ink 
and how it really glows with the colors and the wash that she has chosen to layer over it. One of the other things I liked about this was the composition. There were several to pick from, but I truly enjoyed the flow of it as it goes across the piece. And it's really beautifully done. So thank you for painting that. landscapes, abstracts in pastel, I couldn't help but notice this particular landscape. Jenny Kinberg has painted something that is quite small. I believe it's about four inches by four inches. She has chosen to really solidify and unify those dark shapes in the cliffs, and it is magical where you see the water and the surf coming, and it's just a beautiful composition, well painted, and an excellent use of space for that size canvas. Thank you, you deserve an honorable mention. Nancy Abel has done something here called Ranunculus Rose. It is a photograph that is painterly. It is rare that we can find something photographic that is moving like a photo and is so delicate and textured and beautifully done in various colors. You might not be able to see it while I'm talking about it, but I assure you there'll be a better image that you'll be able to refer to. It's gorgeous. Special Jurors Award for you, Nancy. Thank you. James Carlson produced something called Ring Around the Geckos. I was intrigued, I had to pick it up. It is mixed ceramic and metal. And when you look at these pieces, you're going to see fine detail, bright colors on the gecko. You're gonna see some reflection in the paint and the handling. And it is something different you don't see all the time. And I really like unique pieces. This was very deserving of a special Jurors Award, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. So this year, uh, we are mounting a special corner of our gallery in honor of the people of Ukraine. We have a wall where artists have generously donated artwork for the proceeds to go to humanitarian efforts in Ukraine. And we have chosen the World Central Kitchen as our recipient, who they're feeding lots of people as they come over the border. They have a great organized system for doing that. So we're so thankful for all the artists for donating their proceeds from this art. We've also created a special award that the juror has selected from these pieces, which she'll talk about in a moment. And I'd like to also mention that our juror has generously donated back her fee to provide the special juror awards for this show. So Barbara, we thank you for that. And I'll turn it over to her to tell us about her award on this special blue and yellow wall. Thank you so much, Anne, for creating this particular dedication to the Ukrainian humanitarian support. It was a pleasure to be able to honor Lila Jacobson for her acrylic painting called Blue and Yellow. And it is a delicate uh, bowl of lemons and, and their leaves, and it is beautifully done. Masterfully handled, well done well constructed in that small space. So congratulations. It was an honor to give you that award. Thank you.
This is one more message for the people who support the artists at home and or uh, those that spend time knocking on the studio door and can't figure out where your friend is who is painting or creating. Thank you for supporting us. It's a lot of work. We work hard at not only conceiving what we're gonna paint, but then painting it or creating it, perhaps carving it, hand building it, creating jewelry with it, stitching it. It's a lot of work. We need your support and we thank you because you are as important to us as we are to our art. Thanks.